In this lecture, I'm going to look at how to use thin and thick paint and more importantly, how to use them for variety in your painting. If we look at oil paint on this palette, we can see how thick it is and acrylic paint has similar properties. We want to try and use that to the best advantage. When I think of thick painting, my mind goes to Van Gogh. And you can see in this painting of his famous Starry Night, how he's used thick paint and brushwork to emphasize the movement and uh, energy in that sky, which also relates to how he feels about the subject. Look at the close-up and we'll see how each brushstroke can be seen using the relationship of one color against the other for effect. Look at the variety of colors, the light turquoise blue next to the dark um, French ultramarine bouncing against the yellows and uh, greens. He's obviously layered one brushstroke carefully over the other, probably letting the underlayers dry to avoid um, cracking of the upper layers. In this painting of his famous sunflowers, once again Van Gogh has used texture to emphasize the feeling of those sunflowers. And as we look at some of his other famous paintings, the various wheat fields, where he's emphasized, once again, thick paint, the wheat field and cypresses, there's a variety of texture and thickness of paint between the foreground grass and bush and wheat fields compared to the sky. Just look at this thick paint in the bushes in this painting. It's, it's extraordinary. And then compare that to the sky, where he still uses relatively thick paint, but it doesn't compete with the uh, foreground areas. So he's thinned those down a bit, but still using vigorous brushwork and still highlighting um, the light areas of the clouds with more paint. So if we look at that um, palette again, one thing to try and avoid is over mixing the paint so that you lose any streaks of colors coming in onto your brush. When you put those brush strokes down, there'll be elements of the different colors, flecks of yellow and red in the green and so on, which will add um, variety. So when you put that onto your painting, don't mix it out uh, or flatten it out by over brushing it on your canvas as well. So we're looking at variety in your paint application as well. Thick and textured paint brush strokes, larger brush strokes in the foreground, and thinner uh, brushwork, thinner paint in the shadows and in the background areas in the distance. So we'll use thin paint when you're doing your painting, particularly in the uh, early blocking in stages, and then move into developing those thin shapes with thicker paint, putting the thicker paint over thinner layers. And this helps to avoid subsequent cracking as well when the paint dries and also lets you finish off the painting with more thick, juicy paint for an overall uh, painting that is interesting and good to look at.